All right, so I relocated the pop-up and I probably got to use that extension cord, but I think I found out why my pressure washer died. And I just used this a couple days ago to fill a water jug up and I walked up on the porch I gotta get it turned off yeah that's how hot it is guys that's a brand new brand new setup so I'm gonna have to I guess go to a different kind because apparently this can't handle the hot water or the heat all right, just thought I'd show you. It's, I don't think it was the pressure washer's fault. I think it's just hot water we got out here in the sun. Yeah, so I want to finish this little project up. Looks like I'm going to be using heat. So last night I got these two loose and I got the Dremel in there and widened this, uh, deepened this uh, slot. Got the battery charged on the mini impact, and I'm gonna apply heat to this, see if I can get that last screw out. broke it. Hang on. Hey, success. All right. So let that cool down and yeah, I'll be getting new screws, but now I should be able to get the bearing out. All right. Well, this seems to be working, but you know, I got this piece pretty much done. I am going to have to bring it in and do the nooks and crannies with the, the little Dremel. Uh, mainly, it's going to just smooth the paint out. So, yeah, that one's done. I did find my handle for the uh, wire brush drill, so I'm not having to hold it where the hot air comes out. I guess I'm going to bring this one into the shop and go ahead and mount this one up. So I removed the uh, model number tag and I believe I'm going to be able to reuse those. But why would they do something like this? The serial number is supposed to be there, or the model number and the serial number here. I mean, it's a nice tag and all but they stamped it on the wrong side. I do have a stamp kit. <laughs> yeah, this is the way my day is going so far. That was labeled top. So I thought, well, okay, I'll just pick that up. Guess what? They all just dumped out. That is not the top, that's the bottom. So yeah, I guess I gotta go sort these, but I do have a stamp kit and they look about the right size. Technically, I could restamp the serial number on this side and put that tag up. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, I think it's going to be doable. Uh, I don't know why they stamped it on this side, but it is what it is, I guess. I think I can save that. So, like I said, I can come over here. These were some of the parts that were in the... Uh, stripper and I still have to wire brush them but I use this little die grinder with the uh, the diamond bit on it getting all them nooks and crannies that way does pretty good for removing build up all right well I'm gonna tinker while the race is on up here yeah you can get these little drill master uh, Dremels 
Uh, they're 12 volt, and they come with a bunch of you know, stuff for them. I about wore this one out. So, uh, yeah, my grandson came in, and what I found out is this, uh, I need to super glue that back down. That's, that's what happened there. And then he goes, I'm missing a nine. Well, there's the eight. I said, oh, that's easy. You just take the six and turn it upside down. Uh, the only thing it doesn't have is a period. I'll have to probably use a small punch for that. Uh, yeah, for these little Dremels, I prefer the Transformer pack because them little um, boost packs, they tend to protect themselves. This guy, you can run, and it's real nice to get the rust out of the hole. And obviously nooks and crannies, some little diamond bits work great. So yeah, having fun watching the race. I may throw these parts in evaporus because I'm still getting a lot of rust that's under this paint. It's just too much for the Dremel, but yeah, I think they're going to get another another bath and a bath for us. Leave them in there for a while. Uh, yeah, still a lot of rust on these parts. I got this guy up here to do some final detailing in here. That ain't going to take too long. But uh, yeah, I'm at a stopping point until we get some more shade outside. I got one curvy part left that I'm going to try to get to tonight once the shade gets over here. For the rest of it, it's mostly flat pieces, so them should go fairly quick. Uh, probably bring you guys back in a few days once I have this all ready for paint. And uh, yeah, uh, next week we're kind of tied up with some doctor appointments and stuff like that so while i'm out i'll probably pick up the rest of the hardware i need but yeah uh like i said i'll try to finish grinding this one down tonight and then detail later on but uh yeah we're gonna hold off here and i'll see you guys probably in a couple of days thanks for watching